my Miami Dolphins. So all my sports people just sit back, relax, be sad. and you know why I'm going to be a little bittersweet. Take a look at this. I should be happy, but I'm not. Tua Tagovailoa is preparing for his first NFL start. And the last time the rookie started a game was about a year ago in college when a serious hip injury ended his Alabama career. Tua has been touted as a potential franchise quarterback. The 22-year-old says, though, his family keeps him grounded and his teammates and coaches keep him centered. The 3-3 three and three Dolphins host the 5-2 and two Los Angeles Rams this Sunday, November 1st. Katie Johnston for CBSMiami.com. Y'all see my tears? Damn it. Y'all, y'all see my let me make, make my tears bigger. Man, I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. I was man, calling, his, his I was, career, he's gonna he's gonna turn out to be a Doug Flutie. I was calling for Tua Tunga Vilova two years ago. And let me tell you why. He is the most accurate passer from college football in history. However, he was thrown to an NCAA track team out there in Alabama. I mean, each one of them dudes could run routes, and they were fast. Here's the problem. He had the same injury that Bo Jackson had that ended his his career. Now, that was some 30 years ago when I was a kid watching pro stars, Bo Jackson, Michael Jackson, I mean, Michael Jordan, and Wayne Gretzky. All right? So medicine has advanced, and he got this injury very young. But ladies and gentlemen, cracking your hip, um, that's scary. And I'm so worried that they're about to start him this week against the best defensive player in the league and Aaron Donald. I mean, coming up the middle and Tua Tunga Valova, he can get out and scramble. He can get outside the pocket, but he is deadly accurate under center. And Larry, I am completely worried. I wanted him to sit on the bench the whole year. But, hell, if you're going to throw him in the fire, you might as well throw him in the fire against the best defensive player in the league and against one of the top three best corners. Are you feeling them throwing Tua Tungvaloba into the fire right now, Larry? You think they should wait like they did Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay? He shouldn't be playing. He should be sitting out. He should have just said, I'm afraid of COVID. I'm sitting out for the season and called it. Mm. Okay. But he didn't, and now he's going to get up there and get his hip blown up. I hope not. Please. But, I mean, the reality of it is he's in the NFL now, so that hip's going to get blown out one week or another, whether it's this week or if it's in, in, you know, next week or or next year. That hip's getting shot up. That's getting blown up. They're coming for him. Yeah, man. I mean, they're going to come for his ass. And and here's the thing is that – and I get it. When you play play D1 – you know, especially where he was at, you're getting you get the best of the best. But when you have a dude that's 350 pounds that can run oh. a four five forty, oh, I mean, let's just be real. Mm. You can be a, you can scramble, you can do all good. But when you have a 350 pound freight train coming at you mm. with four five forty speed, there's nothing you can do except just hold on, Man. hold on, and hope that you can get up. And that's basically what it is. I hope Tua Tungavalova still got his baseball skills and know how to slide because Aaron Donald is everything Larry just described. Everything. And I'm worried, but hey, if he can survive this, ladies and gentlemen, we might have finally found our replacement to the great Dan Marino. And Man, this dude, I'm not hedging, I'm not trying to hate on him, but I think he's gonna be another Doug Flutie. Yeah, what a hater. Moving right along. Um, I let's think see he's going to be a duck. You know what they should have done? They should have found a way to pull that kid up out of there. The one from uh, – where is he from? From uh, – what was – was he from Auburn? The kid with the long hair, Trevor something? No, he's in He's in Clemson. I mean, he's in uh, – yeah, Clemson. Clemson. Yeah. 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 I don't know why they didn't pull him out. Well, I mean, because he wanted to stay – he wanted to stay in college, man. He said man, they should have. You know, they had the they had the wrong type of agents coming out, and they should have had agents all up on them to be like, "Man, this is gonna be your life. If you want to finish college, we will get you to finish college. We will make it. We will write it into your contract that you have time to go to Scott to go to college. You know, so you can get your degree. But they should have pulled that kid out. We'll see. Next. I think he would have went. I think he would have went number one. 
Mm, he he's going he's gonna, number one next year, regardless. This year, well, excuse me. Could, yeah, he'll go number one, but I think he would have went number one this last year if he if he had come out. Possibly. I just hate seeing these kids stay in college because they're not really getting a solid education while they're there playing football. And if anything happens to him, I mean, you that kid would have came out of he would have came out, and he probably would have been worth. 30 to 40 million dollars is is you know his rookie year with with the contract and endorsements. Now if he goes out there and and gets hurt this year, I mean maybe he gets maybe he'll be able to come back but you know he's going to be at that point he'll be an injured player. He's not going to be worth half that much. And if he gets really injured, he won't be worth anything. He won't even make it to the league. It's just I mean with football it's such a different sport than than basketball. You know, because with basketball, if you decide you want to stay in for another year, the likelihood you're going to get injured, to you know, with a career-ending injury is not that – it's not – I just don't think the, the likelihood's that high. Football, you literally have dudes trying to end your career every play. Every snap they're trying to end your career. Mm-hmm. It's just mm-hmm. – I'd have been out. I had told dude, look, man, you need to go, you know. As much okay. money as you're going to make, you can hire those damn professors to come and sit on the private plane with you, you know, and and, and get your college degree. Yeah, you could definitely do that. Moving right along. 